Well, on the Brad Sesmat Show, we always like to do things that are Arizona-centric. And one of the biggest stories that came out of last weekend, not just the LeBron James news of him possibly coming to the Suns, but a local prospect now getting it done at the collegiate and now even at the U.S. level, Devin Allen, the former Brophy Bronco football player and track star, has had an unbelievable spring, and it made it just that much better last weekend at the USA Outdoor Championships. He was the 110 Hurdles U.S. champion. That just came down on, on Sunday, and Devin is nice enough to join us now here on the Brad Sesmat Show. Devin, it's been a pretty quality last few weeks, wouldn't you say? Um, yeah, you, you could say so. Um, it was pretty good for me um, with NCAAs and then U.S. championships coming up. Um, you know, I'm, I've been running pretty well and you know, doing, having some good times, and I can't be you know, mad about it. So you know, I'm pretty excited and you know, happy to, of what kind of happened this year. No doubt about it. You mentioned the uh, NCAA champion in the 110 hurdles, also Pac-12 champion in the 110 hurdles, and now USA Outdoor champion. Let's talk about the race itself, your mindset leading up to it, because you're running alongside some guys that you and I talked about were, were guys that you looked up with back in the uh, looked up to back in the uh, London Games back in 2012. Guys like Jason Richardson and and David Oliver. You're standing right there next to them in the blocks. What's going through your mind as it starts and then throughout the race as it unfolds? Folded. Um, I, I try not to be too starstruck. Um, you know, earlier this year, I kind of I ran against uh, Ashton Eaton, and I was kind of starstruck with that. But uh, other other than that, I try to just stay focused and uh, kind of just you know, with with David Oliver and Jason Richardson and Ronnie Ash, all those guys that run really fast time. Um, you know, just try to stay focused and not really you know worry about them too much, knowing that I kind of compete with them um, and be able to run fast, um, you know, gave me some confidence. And you, met, you mentioned Ronnie Ash. He was probably known as the favorite going into the race. He falls and hits a hurdle a little over halfway through the race. He was right to your right during the race. How did that impact you, and, and how were you able to still run that 13-16, the, the same number you hit the NCAA championship with? Um, it's kind of cliche to say so, but, you know, I kind of just uh, focus on myself. Um, I definitely noticed him, you know, running and and taking a fall, but I try not to worry about it too much. Um, kind of just, you know, do what I've been practicing and and run and run my race. Um, so it didn't didn't affect me too much. Uh, the, the next hurdle after wasn't the best, you know, it kind of threw me off balance, and then the line of the race wasn't, you know, as good as my NCAA race. But you know, it was still a pretty fast time, and I'm I'm excited to you know come out with a fast time and win. You run next to him. As mentioned, he was probably one of the favorites in the race. During the NCAA yeah. championships, you ran next to Wayne Davis, who was probably one of the favorites in that race as well. Is there something about being paired right next to these guys that kind of push yourself to another level? Um, yeah, you can say that. You know, I just want to, you know, starting the race, I just want to get out as fast as I can out of the blocks and then just get going. And so when you're right next to somebody, um, kind of gives you confidence and, you know, the ability to know that you, you can keep up with them. And then knowing me, you know, I'm a, I'm a sprinter too, so I know that most of the time I have the best sprint speed. So if I if I can stay, you know, within reach or within, you know, you know level playing field by the end of the race, then I can out-sprint them to the finish line at the end. Devin Allen joining us went from a 14 flat to a 13 16 over the course of this track season. Uh, you become the second fa uh, fastest collegiate ever in the 110 hurdles, and it's the third fastest time in the world. How do you feel when you when I mention all those different things uh, that have to do with your resume over the past year? Um, it's kind of hard to believe. Um, starting the season, it didn't really go as planned. I was I was injured coming out of football. Um, I was a little out of shape, um, a little overweight, you know, not really able to run as fast as I wanted to. Like you said, we're, we're starting the season at 14 flat. But as the season progressed, you know, my coaches stuck with me and my strength and conditioning coaches, and they kind of just stuck with me and made sure I was feeling okay and made sure I was doing the right things, you know, on the track, in the kitchen, um, in the school. And kind of just, kind of just started clicking um, around Pac-12s. I started running pretty fast, and then, you know, every practice I just kept getting better and better and faster and faster. So, you know, I can say it was a progressive season. They, was like a, they, they did a chart for me, um, and every race this year I PR'd. So, that's pretty, 
pretty impressive, I think. You know, it's, it's kind of exciting for me, too. You know, it feels like if I can run a few more races, I can run even, even more fast, even faster. And, Devin, we, we talked uh, a couple months back about the unbelievable schedule that you had, the regimen that you have, and it obviously paved the way for success for you on the track. You also just participated in the spring game a few weeks back with Oregon on the football squad, caught two touchdowns mm-hmm. in the game, and was the talk of the, of the game from the offensive side of the ball. The, the, the things are just really progressing in the right way on the football field as well. So what does the next few weeks have in store for you as you gear up for camp? That's just right around the corner. Um, you know, I think I'm going to try to take a little bit of time off. Um, I don't know if I'm going to run any more meets. Um, I might, I'm not sure. And then, you know, to kind of just jump into football, we have summer strength and conditioning um, going on right now. So I'll just get back into lifting and, and running and all that. That's Devin Allen. Thank you so much for your time. The reigning 2014 U.S. Outdoor Champion in the 110 Hurdles, and we look forward to watching you this fall in Pac-12 as well. Thanks a lot, Devin. Thanks.